RSI is the abbreviation for repetitive strain injury. It's a collective term for physical pains in the neck, shoulders, arms, wrists and hands. It is a disorder of muscles, tendons and nerves. The cause of RSI is excessive strain due to a combination of repetitive and static movements. RSI injuries are coupled with inflammation, pain, redness, swelling and eventually limited movement. RSI is a progressive disorder. The longer you wait for treatment, the longer the recovery will take. When you don't treat the RSI complaint, then the complaint continues in three stages. In the beginning phase, the pain is easy to locate. During work, you suffer pain that disappears quickly after you have stopped working. After a time, you move into the second phase. Then the pain is less easy to locate, radiates to other parts of the body, appears more quickly and disappears more slowly. In the third phase, the pain is almost always present, is more extensive and is very demobilizing. Examples of RSI complaints are tennis elbow and the carpal tunnel syndrome. Avoiding RSI complaints means avoiding strain. Typing and working with the mouse for a long time without taking breaks puts pressure on your muscles all the time. Tense muscles have a very low blood circulation, so they are not provided with enough oxygen and nutrients, and also waste is not removed. This results in weary muscles, cramps, cold hands and pain. Therefore, take a short pause or a micro-pause regularly. A micro-pause is a pause of around 20 seconds, which specifically serves to break the continuation of muscle strain. During such a pause, try to stretch your hands, arms, shoulders and neck a few times a day. Thanks to these stretch exercises, the blood circulation will repair itself and you avoid RSI complaints. Hold all stretch exercises for 5 seconds and repeat them 3 to 10 times depending on the availability of time. Also, always repeat the exercises for both arms. In order to stretch your lower arm, you hold your arm outstretched with your palm facing upwards. Stretch your hand down. Then stretch the fingers down. Now you turn your arm round and stretch your hand outwards. You can stretch your hand muscles in various ways. Stretch your fingers at the same time. And then stretch each finger separately. You can stretch your shoulders by turning them as well. Then try holding your shoulders with your hands and pull your hands as close together as possible. And stretch your muscles even more by moving from left to right.